Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Intuit version of FSR for Upscaler in conjunction with XCSS frame generation in Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster Edition. Even XCSS low latency mode will work. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. The game officially supports TLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.2. But if you select TLSS G via Streamline as the frame generation source in OptiScaler mod for enabling XCSS frame gen, Smoothing effect of XCSS frame generation will not work properly, so it's recommended to use FSR 3.1 as the frame generation source which the game officially supports. This game underperforms on ROG Ally. In the open world areas, FPS stays close to 30 even when the game is running on low settings. CPU or memory bandwidth seems to be a limiting factor. We'll be using the latest test build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9 PV4 2025-0922 available on their Discord server. Click on the .7z link here. FSR SDK was leaked a month ago. It included the files corresponding to Intuit version of FSR 4 Upscaler. These files could be used to compile an FSR 4 TLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the Go File link here. From here, you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler DS12.tll file. Click on Download next to it. Download will start. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini, optiscaler.tll, libxcss underscore frame generation.tll, xcss frame gen file, dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required, xcss super resolution file, xcss low latency mode file, fake nv api.ini, fake nv api.tll, fake nv api will replace the in game reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode, newcom lines mod not required. Vulcan version of Fidelity FX not required. Select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Right click, copy, paste them in the games installed directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste everything here. Replace, highlight the files. Now we need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxj.tll. Select the file, right click. Rename Type TXGI Now I'll install Intuit version of FSR 4 Upscaler and Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler TX12.tll file Need to paste it in the games install directory Replace the existing file And we are done Try to run the game Need to set the UMA buffer size to auto on ROG Ally Now to prevent the game from stuttering I've enabled FreeSync and VSync MyLi is running on PaaS version 3.4.2 Install Alice's latest official GPU driver that I had support for Battlefield 6 Using a 27 watts manual profile All 3 power values set at 27 watts 900p resolution CPU boost disabled Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Alice via Bluetooth mode X input controller We'll be using RTSS and after gonna to show you the performance metrics Just open RTSS, click on setup here, scroll down to the end Make sure Inject NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker setting and enable frame rate limiter setting are disabled. Enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting. Launch the game. This message will pop up when you launch the game asking us to update our GPU driver for RTX 4090. TXJS proofing is on. In game settings 900p resolution window mode full screen. Just don't set the window mode to exclusive fill. Beg your pardon, exclusive full screen, otherwise XSS frame generation won't work. Upscaler DLSS using its quality preset, OptiScaler mod is working, VSync is off, Reflex is on, frame generation disabled for the time being. Graphics, I'll set the preset to low, depth of field is off, change a few settings, terrain quality set to medium. Screen space reflections low, post processing effects disabled, motion blur strength set to nil, sharpness level set to nil. If you want to increase the sharpness, you can do it via OptiScaler mod. Level of detail, I'll just set to medium. Okay, launch the game. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. I'll just increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale, set the value to 1.2, much better. Yeah, here XCSS upscaler is selected version 2.0.2 FPS is close to 32 
and you can see we are not hitting the GPU bottleneck GPU load is close to 88 percent I'll just change the upscaler to FSR 4 intake click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select FSR 3.x as the option click on change upscaler yeah FSR version selected 4.0.2 Input in game DLSS upscaler DHS spoofing is on, auto export setting is on, and just increase the image sharpness by checking this setting override under sharpness section. Stick with the default value 0 0.300. If you want to increase the sharpness level further, move the slider to the right. If you want to reduce the sharpness level, move it to the left side. Check this setting non linear color space, otherwise, you will observe some ghosting trails around the floating particles in the environment. Models set to default, it automatically selected model 1 for me which corresponds to the upscaler's quality preset, that's fine. Base resolution 1064 by 592 pixels upscale to 900p resolution, see why I close. Resume the game, yeah FPS is close to 31, roughly the same performance using XCSS2 upscaler and FSR4 upscaler. You can see we are still not hitting the GPU bottleneck game's performance is very disappointing performance will barely improve even if you drop the resolution to 720p you will gain like 1 to 2 fps check out the image quality here it's looking very sharp very clean no ghosting is produced around Aloy's character model minor ghosting is produced around the bow string even DLSS upscaler produces it very difficult to observe this ghosting on Aloy's small display impressive results ok before enabling XCSS frame gen I'll highlight the graphical artifact produced by in-game FSR frame generation it will make our character shadow look a bit blurry common FSR frame generation related artifact frame generation set to FSR 4.0.2 huh? should have been 3.1.5 back to the game FPS increased to around 53 what's going on here UI element it's flickering and just observe Aloy's shadow it's going to flicker when I sprint see now I'll switch to OptiScaler's XCSS frame generation make sure in-game FSR frame generation is enabled now open the mod menu click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select FSR 3.1 FG click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option click on save INI close need to restart the game now hit the same sequence just open OptiScaler menu check the setting active under XCFG frame time graph will become thick like this XCSS frame gen is working debug view you will see purple side pass flickering this means XCSS frame gen is working check the setting show detected UI games UI will be highlighted pink in color ok the UI element for this plant is not highlighted pink in color and yeah it's exhibiting some ghosting see during fast visual motion in game FSR frame generation does this I'll just disable the debug view and show detected UI settings just observe Aloy's shadow and this printing, yeah, the shadow it's not exhibiting any ghosting or flickering. FSR frame generation related artifact, and this is the real world input delay, minor increase in latency. XCSS frame gen latency is lower than that of FSR frame generation. FPS stays in a range of 50 to 55. Game's UI element is superimposed on the game's display. Makes the background look a bit blurry. See, I just drop the resolution to 720p. Window mode full screen, which is actually borderless full screen mode. Back to the game. FPS is close to 55, 55 to 58. Not a big improvement in terms of performance after dropping the resolution. Oh my God. <laughs> Dropping the resolution from 900p to 720p, it's up to you, these things coming straight towards me. Trying to 
aim for its eye stagger that thing critical hit image quality is still looking decent 720p resolution cross it's not flickering that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day